Okay, kids, we've come to the obligatory drum solo portion of our DVD. Can't possibly have a drum DVD without a drum solo, right? Got to be honest, though, I've gotten away from solos the last couple of years. Um, my focus has gotten away from soloing and playing by myself, doing clinics. I've become more interested in, in uh, spending my time on stage and in the studio. Uh, making music with other musicians. That's, that's been my focus. That's the focus of this DVD in general. Uh, I haven't done many clinics the last couple of years. I've, I've been on hiatus from that. Just because I found anytime I've been asked to do a drum festival or a drum show the last couple of years, rather than doing a clinic and playing by myself, I, I utilize those, uh, those offers to give me uh, a forum for playing with other musicians and I assemble different tribute bands and stuff like that that I'm going to be talking about on disc two. In any case, uh, I have done my fair share of solos through the years, so what we've put together for this, por this part of the DVD is uh, three different drum solos uh, from three different tours, and all of which are very different from each other. Uh, so I figured uh, it would show some, uh, some diversity from, from solo to solo in, in all three of these cases. The first one is from... Uh, 1995 from a Japanese show uh, in Tokyo and um, my hair is very long in those days and uh, and it's a your typical traditional drum solo like I used to do back in those days this is from the awake tour and uh, back in those days it was just all-out adrenaline go for it fills chops uh, and I I've always wanted to incorporate something a little bit more, something musical, uh, and that developed later on with the other solos, but this first solo was the first time I was venturing into uh, utilizing some samples to play along with. So here you go. My hair is about to grow, and my kit's going to be different, and let's go back to Japan back in 1995. Drum solo number one. <laughs> 